Jule. Oh yes, I'm reading a book and I feel this pandemic has made us into good readers since we all are stuck home. So related to this, today's video is about top three books. Of course, my personal recommendation on Ladakh. If you are interested in studying about Ladakh, these are the books I think would give you better insights into Ladakh. Here we go. Talking about books and recommending them it could be my one of my personal favorite hobbies. And who would not like to read about the pers a place where you belong from? Um, my personal favorites or, or books I would like to recommend to people who would like to read about Ladakh are I've top, I've chosen top three because there are endless number of books. So uh, the first book I have chosen in in my collection is something called Ladakhi Histories by John Bray, and this is a collection of uh, stories or you can say essays mostly presented in a conference or some other thing. But the beauty of this book is, since it's a collection, that means it's a it's it's almost like a it, it is like a microcosm of Ladakh itself, like a melting pot of culture with 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 coming from uh, with perspectives coming from everywhere. Uh, since this book is edited by John Bray, introduction by himself is a beauty is, is a beauty in itself because he he connects the history, the culture, the language, and almost everything into one essay, which is itself uh, itself a great thing. So I would definitely recommend to read the uh, introduction of which is titled as "Locating Ladakh History" by John Bray. Uh, my favorite and then um second uh second favorite essay is uh something called Gajum Nakpo by Tashi Stopton. Now who is Gajum Nakpo or what is Gajum Nakpo? Gajum Nakpo was uh, this amazing archer from Ladakh. He belonged from a Stoke family and uh, he basically solved the issue of a land or a meadow lying between today's Stoke and Marshall village by shooting the arrow at the destined target and that kind of resolved everything and that shows how how good he was at this time at that time and this literally is two two page essay and you would love to read it uh, and um that's it and my third favorite um essay in this collection though there are like so many favorites is uh is, is this, this the title is social networks and transnational tra transnational trade in early 20th century by Jacqueline Fox and Abdul Nasser Khan. Now the beauty about this uh, essay is it kind of breaks down the idea that trade is no more um, no more relevant today in, in Ladakhi history, and uh, it it brings back or connects us back to the to the to the uh, trading Ladakh by um, by showing us few Ladakhi families who belong from the tra trading traders class. Uh, they have this remnants of trade and like like Persian letters, like farmans and all of it, and they also beautifully na narrate the 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 then days of trade about their grandfathers and great grandfathers. So that's something I really could connect with. I was like, wow, that's beautiful about Ladakh. That's that's the first book I would recommend. And the second book is is written by somebody called Daniel Garfield. Uh, he was a Ladakhi Christian, or belonged from the Christian uh, community in Ladakh. And uh, it's a very simple book, like like a thin book. You can literally finish it in half a day if you are a, if you are a speed reader. Uh, and uh, the na the narrative is a bit more nostalgic and retrospective because he literally talks of Ladakh 50 years back. And when he talks about that, uh, there are like chapters he have divided. He, there are ten chapters he has divided the book into, and each chapter would be around two and a half or three pages. And uh, the spotlight chapters which, which captured my attention was one about the mode of living. Why mode of living is because back then Ladakhis were lack of matchstick. So we were always short of fire. So fire sharing kind of became this symbol of social connection and the, the, the close-knit community. So he talks about how back then we didn't have anything, we, uh, our communication system was lacking and back then we managed to do that using horses and special people appointed to just deliver post. And the second would be impact of army on Ladakh because uh, that connects me to today's Ladakh uh, in a way that uh, whatever things that army condemned or disposed of, Ladakhis reused them, kind of showing their uh, their uh, um, their self-sustaining nature of using resource to its maximum potential. Uh, for example, jerry cans and sleeping bags, dried milk. Talk of all the things. 
Tennis, my third favorite are uh, in the series is uh, here it's written Kesar. Uh, you can also call it Gesar. Uh, Gesar was this trans Himalayan hero, or even today, if you talk about the mythical hero, um, found uh, talked about in Mongolia, Tibet, Ladakh, even Mustang. So. And this book uh, basically is a Ladakhi perspective or a Ladakhi, very, a very short and uh, average version of it, but it doesn't feel like average when you read it. It's, it's narrated by uh, Tsering Namgyal Mir and um, edited by Nikki Grist. And um, I find this book interesting not just because of its narration, but also because of how I believe, you know, it, this has the Ladakhi English and then, then this, this, this uh, editing and all of it. So it's just beautiful. Um, well, these are the top three I would like to recommend, uh, but there are so many books to recommend on Ladakh which I've read and I would like to recommend, which I will reserve for the next video. We're hoping that you'll like the recommendation given by us or the list of books. Uh, we would love to know more about your recommendation of, of books on Ladakh in general, maybe your favorite books. So feel free to drop in all your favorites in the comment section. And regarding the other names of so many titles on books on Ladakh, we will reserve that for the next video.